Oh, I just got a short demonstration here um, of Audacity. It's an audio editing package. Uh, there's a version of Audacity for the, for Linux, for um, the PC, and also for uh, the Mac. <coughs> this is just a short demonstration to show you uh, how uh, to remove clicks and pops from uh, vinyl records. The latest version of Audacity has a, has a nice little click and pop removal utility. It's probably not as uh, effective as some of the commercial ones, but uh, Audacity is, uh, is open source. It's a freeware program, so uh, you can't expect everything. I'm just playing through this uh, little bit of a track here, and you'll see these little long spikes here. They're the actual uh, clicks. I'll just play a little bit of that. Oh, Okay, you can definitely <coughs> hear those. So what I'll do, I'll just left click and hold the mouse down. I'm just going to do a short bit. I could actually go over here and do um, edit and then select all if I wanted to do the whole side or um, in this case to speed up the process. I'm just going to do a little portion here and just give you an idea of what, what happens here. So when we've highlighted, left click hold and drag across left click hold, drag across, highlight the area that you want and uh, we go up to the effect menu and we've got uh, click removal now I've set the settings here which is pretty much um, common for a lot of the stuff I'm doing at the moment with it and uh, the threshold level is, is down close to off but don't go on these ones don't go too high or too low. You'll know when you do because it'll sound absolutely shocking. It'll distort the uh, recording. But I've found that those settings there work pretty well with uh, the condition of a lot of my records. Now we just click remove clicks. And if you have a look there you'll see that those little spikes are gone. We'll just play through that play through that little bit again. That is going away. Now, if you <coughs> want to hear what we had, we'll just go down to this window here, and we shall um, just play through. So you can hear that uh, nice click there, another one coming up here. Alright, Audacity, then we just use that to uh, remove those, um, those clicks. So once we've done that, once we've cleaned up the, uh, the music, we can go over here and we can um, export as WAV, MP3, or you really look at a WAV or MP3 are probably the two most common. MP3 uses the lame MP3 codec, so uh, yeah, <coughs> nice little uh, freeware package. So if you're into uh, got a stack of vinyl in the cupboard and you want to put them onto uh, CD, have a look at this program. There is some very very powerful software out there, uh, commercial stuff. It's not very expensive, but uh, if you're into just mucking around, uh, this is a nice little package for recording recording direct off the uh, vinyl through a little uh, RIAA, RIAA amplifier or, um, or uh, through a preamp and, uh, and then you can clean it up. I've used it a lot of the stuff time for doing video editing, doing voiceovers and things like that or you can uh, use it to uh, record off the HF box and uh, possibly try and uh, clean up some of the, the rubbish that you uh, band noise and stuff like that but uh, I don't know how effective it'll be on that though. Alright, there you go. Audacity.